To assemble your reformer trapeze combination, you need to find a sharp edge to open your packaging. Your new equipment comes with the rest of these tools, four cotter pins to assemble your uh, canopy, a 3 16 Allen wrench to tighten the set screws of the canopy, and then this wrench. This wrench is for the push through bar. Um, please save it for maintenance down the road, but you probably won't need it for setup. Hi, my name is Kayleen, and I'm the Pilates mechanic here in the BB Garage. And I'm Ken Endelman, I'm the assistant to the Pilates mechanic here at the BB Garage. Yeah, he's also, when he's not here in the garage, the CEO of Balance Body. So today we're going to talk about how to unbox your reformer trapeze combination. We often refer to it as an RTC. It's a lot shorter, easier. Um, and we're going to unbox it and set it up um, so that it's ready to use in your studio. Right? So yeah, so I had one tip about this. And you know, you might notice that this thing is a really kind of a monster box here. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's big, right? You know, you can kind of tell how long this thing is. And you might want to just consider for a minute that you may not want to take this crate inside your house. It just may be too big. If that's the case, then what you really need to do is you need to take it out of the box outside of your house or maybe even outside of your studio. Take the pieces out, but make sure you put them on something that's soft and won't scratch them, okay? Other than that, you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. I think that's a great tip. All right. All right. So. We're going to start with the big box, the reformer box, mm -hmm. um, and we'll start with taking the staples out. So we'll run our hands along the bottom edge of the box. Just be careful not to slide your hand on the edge. We know that that sucks, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Or cut your hand on um, the staples. All right. Beautiful. I'll go this way. Perfect. You go that I'll way. I'll that way. All right. Okay, let's go. Time getting my head, head yeah, in. I can kind of squeeze. Oops. There we go. All right. Okay, I think we're ready. We're good. Let's lift this box top off. Ready? There All right. Go. One down. Look at all this stuff in here. What do we got? This is awesome. We need. You've got the. We've got some scissors over here. Got some scissors. Yep. Oh, I you got found the light. knife. Look at that. I think that's it. All right. Let's get these boxes out. All right. So we're going to be really careful with all the boxes that we get out because sometimes they might look like just cushioning packaging but there's actually parts that you need inside. So be sure you don't throw anything away before you investigate if something is hidden inside. You got that? I think so. Look at that, all right. Okay. Okay. So, should we lift it out, keep it upside down, or should we flip it in the air? Um, since we've got this soft floor here, why don't we just lift it up, put it down, and then we'll flip it. All right. Okay. Sounds good. You ready? All right. Okay. We'll go this way. Okay. Shall we slide it? Slide. And tip. And slide, slide again. Look Beautiful. at that. All right. So I think we're ready to get all the other boxes out and see what's inside. Ready. Let's do it. Okay. All right, let's see what's inside these boxes we pulled out of the big box. Okay. I'm ready. All right. So we've got this kind of heavy little box here. You can get that top there. Okay. Oh. There we go. 
Okay, All so right. I see some instructions. Right side up. Now I'll put those off right to the side. side. Okay. I think our shoulder rests are in here. Beautiful. No razor blades here. No razor blades with that package. Right. Ropes, loops, handles. Okay. Ready to go. Foot strap. Blah, blah, blah. These are nice and padded. Yeah, beautiful. <clears throat> Let's put this right here. Okay, we've got risers. Those will just slide in when we're ready. Okay. Carriage stopper for the rail. Twist lock knobs for the shoulder rests. I'll give those to you. And then reformer springs. So there are five springs in this package. Okay. I think ready. the um, canopy stuff is in the boxes behind us and we'll do that after we set up the reformer, right? And we were talking and I think that we're doing the reformer first, that's the way I like to do it, and then adding the canopy. But some people like to do it the reverse, yeah. right? So but your way your way is better because oh. you take it out of the take the put the frame up and then you put the former together, and then when you start taking the pieces out of the canopy box, you can put them right onto the frame. Yep, yep. You don't have to wait to get the reformer mm -hmm. set up to put the canopy on. So, all right, let's that's, see. That's in, in situ. Yes. In situ, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> all right, let's see what's in that uh, big box over there. I think I'm there's ready. a sitting box, but maybe there's something else in there. I don't know. Let's find out here. <laughs> So with this box, Ken's going to show us this really neat technique. Well, I helped a little bit. Yeah. We like to hold the flaps of the box up when we're using a razor blade so that you don't cut any of the upholstery inside the box, right? That would suck. And I just put the razor blade out just a little tiny bit so that I wouldn't go past the thickness of the cardboard. Yep. But at the end of the day, if you don't use a razor blade, we'd all be happier. Yes. If you just peel it off the tape, it's much safer. Yep. Especially yep. when you work on these upholstered parts. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So I see that this is just the sitting box in here. I don't even know if we want to take it out. We can leave it in the box. Let's leave but it in the box and save some space. There's nothing else in the sitting box box. Okay. So that's good. That's it. All right. We'll slide it on over there. You got some room over there? I do. Now, in this box, We've got the carriage. So we're going to make some room so we can slide the carriage out. Okay. Ready? Yes. All right, I'll try and hold this box and you can yeah. slide it out. Ready? Good. One carriage. There we go. Anything in that box? Doesn't look Zip. like it. Okay. Yep. All right. I think we're ready to put the carriage and all these other fun toys back onto the reformer frame and move on. Let's go. All right. All right. So I think we're ready to get the carriage in the frame. But before we do that, we're going to put it up, up here so we can show how to put the springs on. Let's do it. All right. So when we flip the carriage over, make sure that vinyl is on both sides of the frame so we're not putting wood up against any of this hardware that's on the other side of the carriage. Okay. Um, now, Ken, you've got the springs over there. Got the springs. Um, this is a standard setup of springs. There's no particular way that you need to put them on in order. Um, and you can also order different colors depending on how you want to use the springs. Um, but the important thing here is to get the spring hook orientation correctly, right? So one end has this hook, and that side is going to hook onto the eye bolt underneath the carriage. So this is one time when orientation is important. Yes, okay. very important. All right. Okay. So. Ken and I are putting these spring hooks on so that the hook faces up, okay? That means when we flip the carriage over, the spring hook is then facing the floor. So when you use the springs, or when you're not using the springs, they don't just fall off, 
Okay. Gravity holds it into position. Yes. Yes, yes very important. Um, we'll go ahead and do the other ones. Okay. So uh, let's flip her in here. Round. Okay. okay. You ready? Yep. Ready? And then before we can put our springs up on the spring bar, we got to cut this little plastic stuff. Why do you think that's there? Because we ship this thing upside down. And if we don't tie that on there, then when you pull it out of the box, the bar will come down and whack you in the knees. Oh, oh. good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing to be there uh, then. All right, let's. But I am really being careful now when I cut this stuff. I'm going to cut away and I'm going to make sure I don't cut anything that I'm not supposed to cut. Okay. All right. Well, let's get these springs. I'm just flipping the carriage. Yeah. They some. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> Okay. All right. And then, Ken, you want to hook a spring on? Sure. We usually put one or two springs on just to make sure the carriage stays in place for safety reasons. All right. Okay. Right. Okay, so we've got the reform out of the box. We've got the carriage on the frame. The springs are on the carriage. Now we're going to put the shoulder rest and the shoulder supports. <laughs> Those are twist care. knock locks. Twist, twist lock. oh man, talk about tongue twisters. Yes. Twist, twist lock. Total, total twist lock. No, just twist lock. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. No, these are upholstered parts, guys, so we do not want you to use a razor on it, so we want you to rip the paper on it, okay? I hope this is not too rattly for you guys. It's working. I'll be quiet here. I'll get rid of that, all right? So now we've got this. I'm going to tear this stuff off. It's just better to tear it rather than to um, try and cut it. Yep. All right. Absolutely. Okay. So we'll put these guys in. And first guy, we'll drop this guy in here. And that's in the wide position. I'm going to actually, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'll put it in here. I'll put this guy in here. Because this position is where you're going to most, typically you're going to use it the most. So that goes in there. Then we, um, did I do it you wrong? want to make sure that this can be flush. So just slide it out, make it flush, and then slide it back. So okay. I did it wrong and you fixed it. I did. Thank you, Kayleen. And you're welcome, okay. Ken. After you get this thing on <laughs> right and flush and it's smooth yes. and straight, right? Then you take this guy on here and this guy screws on here. And at this point, you'll never have to unscrew it off again because it just needs to be loosened. Yep. We'll put both on and... All right. Then we'll be ready to go, and we'll talk about adjustability later. Yeah, okay. yeah. So Ken's got the shoulder rests on, and this is, I don't know, uh -oh. Ken. I don't know what's happening is, with you today. This is, this is Just slide it work. all the way back there. Now well, it's all lined up. Wow. A little OCD brain going on today. Two strikes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two well, strikes. you better watch out. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so. I think now would pro actually probably be a really good time to talk about the adjustability of those shoulder rests, right? Okay. So you mentioned, and you actually moved one of the shoulder rests because it was mm -hmm. going to be set up in the wide position. What did you mean by that? Yeah, so this is how this works. So these are designed to be in the normal position, and then also when you take them in reverse and they go into a wider position. So to better understand what I'm talking about, if you just look at this, you can see how the shoulder bracket fits over the base. Nothing is exposed, right? So I'm going to take this guy off by loosening him. And there you go. Just a couple of turns here. That guy comes off. This guy comes off. Now you notice when I put this one back on here and slide it all the way to the back, this shoulder base is now hanging over this side and this base is exposed. So now this is actually a half an inch wider. When you put this one on this side and you put it on there, you've now made these yep. shoulder rest an inch apart. Yep. Makes it more comfortable for your brawny dudes. Yes. Yep. All right, so we've got the shoulder rest on. Let's do the risers and the ropes before okay. we move on. Okay. Let's go. So for this machine, we've got metal risers. This is super easy. I'm just going to slide them right into the post here. Now, they rest in this position, but for use, we're actually going to raise them up and secure them with a pin here. So I'm going to find the pin 
push it all the way in. They're both level. All right, so let's get the ropes out here. Don't think we need the handles. Um, here are your handles to you. I'll break this little red thing. Break it off. Right. Okay. okay. And uh, there are your clips. Clip one. Okay, so Ken's putting the long loop around the shoulder rest, and that's just one potential um, length, I don't know what you call it, gauge, or right? Setting, yeah. So there's lots of different ways that you might want to set up the length mm -hmm. of your ropes. Um, so I'm gonna thread this through the pulley, and then Ken will take it through the cam cleats yes. and the eye Straps. loop, eye strap. I always get that one wrong. And I'll give okay. a better look over there. And we'll there. do a good close up of the one in the front. Okay. All right, there we go. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take this off right now. We're gonna feed this through the eye strap. Then it goes over the cam cleat and through the next one. And then I'm gonna poke it into the cam cleat, okay? Mm -hmm. And then just to make things really easy here, I'm gonna put this over here like this and then I'm gonna pull it until it's firm. And then what I like to do is I like to just put the straps underneath here because then they're just out of the way mm -hmm. and they're clean. They're easy to access. Yeah. There's also a little hole in the top of the frame, so sometimes you can you can yeah. also get the ropes out of the way um, by oh. putting the ends through the hole. Yeah, where is that hole? There's a preference. The hole right there. Okay. So in the wide position, it's harder to see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we also just want to make sure that both of these ropes are relatively even. So Ken's going to give this side a little tug, so that the drape looks similar. Okay. And then I give it a little tug on the end just to make sure everything's locked up. Yep. Tug, tug. I think that's pretty good. All right, so we're almost ready to get to the canopy, right? Did I mess up anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're safe for now. Okay. <laughs> um, we have one more thing to do before we move on to the canopy, and that is to take off the blue tape that's on the outer brackets of the frame. Okay? Now that we've got our reformer, Right. This is not the reformer. This is our reformer. Ready. Um, we're going to get the canopy assembled and onto the frame. Okay. So just like with the reformer box, be careful of cardboard cuts and staples as we take the packaging off. Ready? There? I think so. Should we move this? Little, yeah, I'll, I'll take this. Great. We got a lot of cool things here. Wow. This is yeah. a cool packaging job. Yeah. So how about we start with the push through bar? Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Okay. What else do Most we have? Most of the stuff is on my side, it looks like. Yeah. We've got some trapeze springs. Two bags of those, actually. Okay. We have the little sleeves for the trapeze springs. Okay. Uh, some straps in here, roll down bar, and trapeze sling, okay. All right, I think that's it. I think that's it. Now everything else is zip tied. So Ken, you've got some sharp edges here. I'm going to use a razor blade, but if you've got a pair of wire cutters, they work really good for this, or some really good industrial shears, they work good. Um, and you can use a razor blade. By this time, they get pretty dull, so make sure when you use a razor blade, you cut away from you, okay? Yes, yes. It's really important. 
And when you're using any kind of blade, always wonder where it's going to go when it goes out of control and make sure that's not one of your parts or the person you love. Yes. Those are some heavy duty zip ties. Yeah. Cutting away from myself, guys. Thank you. Uh oh. It's getting kind of dull. You want to try the scissors? Let's see here. I think so. All right. Having the right tool makes a big difference. Looks like we don't really have the right tool for this job. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have in here? Anything good? The scissors are working just fine. Are they? Okay. There we go. All right. So we're going to find these four unattached poles because those are going to be our vertical poles that go in the frame. Okay, so we'll take these out and put them off to the side. Oh, right. these are beautiful stainless steel, Ken. I love it. Thank you. And here is the whole. Oh, here is our. Uh, yeah, the roll down bar side. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we can probably lay this up right here. Here. Okay. There's gonna be gentle on the frame. I think that's gonna be okay. I yep. think so. And then this is our top, the top of the canopy. Here we go. That's pretty much it. All right, let's get this box out of the way. I got it. Okay. You got it? Yep. All right. All right, so we're ready to put the canopy in the frame or on the frame or in the brackets, however you want to say it, right? So to do that, we need some tools. I think Ken has some tools over there. Buried deep in the packaging. In the package. So... Make you, sure you find them. You almost can't there, see They've got to be somewhere. There we go. Got it. So what Ken's looking for is an Allen wrench, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And we're going to use the Allen wrench to loosen these set screws on all the brackets here. Okay. So this is a 3 16 Allen wrench. And I happen to have an extra one over here. Um, so the top three set screws on each of these pairs, we're going to loosen so that they are not visible on the inside of this bracket, okay? So we go lefty-loosey, right, to loosen these. This one's a little stuck. Okay. Now, the bottom set screw, we're actually going to tighten just enough so that if you look down, or Ken will use his uh, finger to feel, um, you're going to look for the screw to protrude into the bracket, right? Why is that? Because what we're going to do is we're going to use a little trick here to make our installation a little bit easier. And we're going to leave that screw in the bottom sitting inward a little bit so when we drop our tubes in, it's going to sit on the screw just for a minute while we insert the cotter pins and get everything else adjusted. I've had the experience, I think that's a great tip because I've had the experience where I put my tubes in and the cotter pins fall out in the process. So this is gonna save a lot of energy. All right, let's do the same thing the on the back side. Okay, I'm ready. Why aren't you speedy? Okay, I'm ready as well. So we're going to get the slider side, which is usually where you put the roll down bar, and that side is going to go on this foot bar end. Okay. So Ken, you want to lift it up and I'll help with this packaging, okay, extra it. little packaging. All right. So we know this is the right 
direction because these eye bolts are going to go at the top, okay? And we'll get these little socks off. So Ken's gonna slide the tubes right into these brackets and they should go through the first one into the second one and rest on that very bottom set screw that we purposefully put in. Wait a second here. So it looks like this isn't lining up very well. Yeah. Ah, it looks like it's a little bit too... Oh. Oh. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, okay. so this is not going very well. It should go smoother for you. So what this could be, Ken, what are we is... Gonna do? <laughs> We might look at some of the pieces that are keeping the width of these two poles. So we should grab our Allen wrench and, oh, look at that, super handy, okay? And then we're gonna look at these set screws over here, which are on the vertical slider, okay? So, Kay, I'm gonna ask you to loosen one of these two screws while I hold the poles up. Okay, okay. I think it's gonna go in easier once you loosen that yes. screw. Yes, yes. So this is a nice two-person job where it's nice to have one person stabilized so that when you do loosen something, it doesn't go crashing down to the floor or onto your brand new frame, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go lefty loosey right into this set screw. And I don't need to take it out, I just need to loosen it so I can see the, the, the tube is sliding in the bracket. And Ken, I'm gonna trade spots mm -hmm. with you and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Ah. You can loosen that thumb screw too at the same time. At the you end. think this one? Yeah, that you one. You think so? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me some latitude here. Okay. There Ooh. you go. There yeah, we go. There. So this. Right down at the bottom. Screw. Much smoother, and you've you've really felt and heard that nice thunk. Yeah. Okay. Very nicely. All right. So we're gonna make sure that these are lined up. Pretty Just evenly like right yeah. along the edge of the frame. Mm -hmm. And now we can send this, the sliders down a little bit. Should we move mm -hmm. the foot bar out of the yeah, way? Let's do that. Like okay. this for now. So we're going to send the sliders all the way down. You're going to have to loosen that thumb screw. Okay. And let it rest here at the bottom. Okay. Once we tighten up, the uh, brackets, the set screws on the brackets, then we can come back and tighten this um, piece that we just moved here, right? If we do it now, and then when we tighten other things, it still might be a little bit jammed. So we're gonna leave this here and come back to it in a bit, okay? Perfect. Right? What about these guys? Ah, uh, yes. What are they for? There are little indentations here. I see three of them. Um, these, I think, are for little visual markers of where your slider is so that you can easily line them up on each side at the same height. Yeah? That's it. All right. Man behind the design right okay. here. <laughs> okay, now we're ready to put the push-through bar on the other two slider poles. So I'm going to be the one walking the poles in, and Ken's going to talk about what he's doing over there. Great, okay. So Kaylee's gonna hold the pole. She's gonna push it into this thing right here. What I have to do is hold this part out while she pushes the pole through, okay? So watch your foot. Watch what, my foot. What, what we're looking for here is that these Oops, go ahead. holes are to the outside. So the knob that Ken's holding out is going to fit right into that first hole. Ooh. Push it a little bit more. Well, you should hear it. It should snap right into place. There, there we go. go. Little wiggle. Okay. Little wiggle. So we'll do the same thing on the other one. Okay. Holes on the pole go towards the black knob. Now we're choosing to go to that first hole. Doesn't matter which hole you go to as long as it's the same on both sides. Okay. All right. So now we can take our poles and put them in the frame. Okay, I'll do this, I'll do this. All right, Ken, let's slide these poles in, in to the brackets. Let's okay. get that guy lined up on that side. There we go. 
And this guy lined up on this side. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there we go. I'm just going to get this out of the way of those risers. You want to make sure both sides get into that second bracket. Hit the screws. Okay. All right. So We're good. Just going to rest here for now. Beautiful. Okay. So now we've got our four poles, vertical poles in. We're going to actually go back to this thing we did with the set screws and put the cotter pins in now. So we have four cotter pins, and you'll see if you look really closely that there are holes, tiny little pinholes, on the bottom of these um, vertical poles. Okay, We're going to put the cotter pins in, into those holes, loosen the bottom set screw, and then the poles will actually rest on the cotter pins. Okay, So Ken, you want to do this side, and okay. I'll do the other side. See, now where's the hole? It's right there. I'm going to put this thing in there. I'm going to have it just poke through just yep. a little bit on the other side because when it goes down, I don't want it to scratch the wood. Yes, and you so. want to make sure that you go from the outside in because you will take these out after we're done yeah. tuning the canopy. So we're just going to poke through the inside a little bit. Okay. You made it look so easy over there, Ken. Well, you know, your second time will be easier. <laughs> it's just trying to get it all done to look good on camera that makes it hard. <laughs> My second time was not easier. You lied. <laughs> you lied to me. Oh, oh. You got it? Almost. Yeah. There we go. All right. Okay. So let's start with this side that you're on, Ken. Okay. We can use it as an example. Okay. Um, you have your Allen wrench. Got my Allen wrench. Okay. All right. So let's start with this front bracket over here. Okay. Do you, um, you drop it down? Let's drop it down. Okay. Okay. Ready? So Ken's got a nice hand on the pole just to just to let it go gently. Let it go gently. And this yeah. isn't actually going to go all the way down because it's attached to this side. So we, well, it went pretty close anyway. Yeah. Um, Sometimes but it's a little cockeyed here. All right. There we go. So now these poles are resting on the cotter pins. Um, and we're actually not going to tighten the set screws at the bottom quite yet. We're going to do that at the very end once we get the top on. So everything is loose down here at this yes. point. Yes. Yes. And it's just resting on those cotter pins. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. Put your hand down there. I think I'll be okay. There's one. I think I have it easier because this is the slider side. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so let's get this canopy on here. Get ready. You think? So let's bring it around to the front so everyone can see what we're doing. We have to do a little check before we can actually put it on top of these poles. Okay. To the front. Why like don't this? yeah? Why don't you walk around to the other okay. s side, and then we'll show that it, it's actually backwards. Here we go. Okay. So each of these corner brackets has a set screw. Well, I have multiple set screws. Okay. The one that is loose, the one that goes into where the hole is for these, we need to make sure that the set screw is backed out enough that it won't prevent the seating right on top here. So you can just take your finger on the inside, make sure it's not protruding. Okay. If it is protruding, take your Allen wrench, lefty loosey until you can't feel it on the inside anymore. Okay. So now we can lift this up onto the top, except by moving this around, <laughs> I, you, I see, you know what I'm going to say, right? I think I do. <laughs> By moving this around to the front, it's actually backwards because we need our safety strap to be on the same side as the push through bar. Okay? Is that what? Are we on the same page here? We are totally on the same page. All right. So Thank now you. we're. We're totally not going to make the same mistake. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So let's just flip it around. Okay. Okay. So I'll go this way, you go that I'll way. Go this way. Do, 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 do. All right, 
So this is an excellent opportunity for two people to do it. Ready? You ready? I'm ready. I'll let you go first because I'm taller. Oh, thank you. One side, then the other. All right, okay. I'm on. Now I'll get mine on there. I want to pinch my fingers. Yeah, don't do that. All okay. right, here we go. So we are on. So everything is set, mm -hmm. or at least it's resting on top here. Okay. Um, so now we're at the point where we can tighten up the set screws. Okay. The reason we waited until the very end is because if you start tightening things before it's all put together, you might uh, pinch things so that they don't move properly. Okay? So when Ken tightens, we're going to start with the bottom mm -hmm. set screws, okay? making sure that our eye bolts up here are in line with the long side of the frame. And we tighten all these four brackets, sorry, eight brackets on the bottom first. Okay. Now, how tight are you tightening these set screws, Ken? You know, at the first time, I just tightened them until they just kind of stop and kind of gently, really just till they stop. And, and that's, that's about it, because I want to not really jam them into place, because I want right. to make it easier to readjust if I need to. This friction fit, right? This yeah. is a friction fit, and it's actually quite strong. Mm -hmm. People will often over-tighten these things, and they don't need to be, right? So remember that our, this slider here is still loose because we um, loosened it to actually slide the poles onto the frame. So now is a great time to tighten these set screws. Okay, Down here at the bottom of these vertical poles here. So what this does is we're saying, OK, we're going to set the width according to the frame. Okay, So I'm just going to quickly tighten these. And when I do that, I'm making sure that the eye bolts face down still. Okay. And again, these need to be snug, but not super tight. So once that's done, now I should be able to slide this slider all the way up. And it needs to go all the way up. Oh, can't see you over here. Um, and stay there before we tighten the set screws on the top of the canopy, OK? So Ken, I know you don't have a slider on your end, but you have the push-through bar. Mm -hmm. So one of the important things for Ken is that as he's tightening his end to make sure that the push-through bar still slides up and down, as well as swings freely through, through the poles, OK? Nice. All right, so we're all tight here. We're all tight at the bottom. We can go up top now, right? Right. All right, let's do it. OK, so I'm going to take my check again. Mm -hmm. Does it slide up and down? Nothing got pinched. Lovely, slides so nicely. And I'm actually going to do the same thing with the horizontal slider up top. Okay? So we want to make sure that this slider can slide lengthwise fairly easily. Okay? Sometimes, if things aren't adjusted properly, this will stop right about here and it won't go any further that way. And in that case, you'd have to tune a little bit more up in the top. Okay. But in this case, it slides out nicely all the way up and down. Oh, so pretty. Very good. So if any of this tuning stuff is confusing, you can try checking out another video, because I think we're going to do another video that shows how to tune it. But you can always call Balanced Body Technical Support, and they will walk you through what you need to do.
guys are super helpful here. Yeah. Okay. Ken, what's next? I think now that we know the slider works, this guy works. Double check our screws. Let's double check all the screws. Make sure they're tight. Okay. And um, and then the most important thing is to remember to take out the cotter pins. Ah, yes. 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 So the cotter pins actually come out, right? Yeah. I go into studios all the time where they're still there, or there's only three because <laughs> <laughs> one's fallen out because people will walk by and hit them, right? Right. So it's, I think it's the most common mistake because yes. people leave the cotter pins in. Yep. They don't yeah. need to be there. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let me check the set screws on my side. Mm -hmm. We'll take the cotter pins out. Yep. And I think we can start putting the fun stuff on this thing. Okay, okay. let's do it. Cotter pin release. Okay. Is yours sliding right out, Ken? The, mine, they're coming out really easy this time. Oh. But what happens when they don't come out so easy? Uh, I think I'm going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. That works great. Do you have another tip for that? You know, I've used uh, a small Allen key. I've used a coat uh, hanger. I've used, um, an, I've used an ice pick. Oh, dang. Yes. <laughs> yeah, see, mine aren't coming out with just my fingers. So. And, and you know the other thing you can use? You can use another cotter pin. Oh, let's try that. All right, and the slider in here. Hey! The only thing is you have to get one cotter pin. <laughs> you have to you get one use. out before you can use it, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I am good. <sighs> All right. I think you got the goodie bags over there, Ken, mm -hmm. with the springs and all oh, that. Springs coming Oh, up. oh, I know what you were doing. Yes. This is so important. Save all the tools that came with your machine. You might need them later. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Someone no, opened no, that already. No, no razor bed required. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Again, we've got a bunch of springs here. Um, the black ones always go on this uh, horizontal slider, okay, because they attach to the, to the sling. But most of the other ones, you'll see, they, I mean, at least when I'm teaching, I move them around a lot depending on what I'm doing. So I'm not particularly putting them anywhere special. They're just going on the frame. Want to talk about what these are for now? Well, uh, what do you got in there? I've got a collection of stuff. Oh. I've got a cotton... Cotton loop? Cotton loop, yes. Okay. Probably to go on a leg spring. I, I typically put them on those purple springs. Oh, I'll hook two. them on there. There we go. We've got two types of Velcro straps. Hey, these are handy. These are handy. What do you do with this stuff? So the bigger ones are thigh cups, okay? So you can put them around your thigh. So for people who maybe, like I'll use them for my uh, people who can't move their feet and keep this type of strap on, we can always put the thigh cuff on. Or, Ken, you've got this smaller one for your wrist cuff, okay? So if someone can't grip something, that's a great alternative. Okay. We can put those off to the side for now. Okay, got it. And we're gonna need something sharp for this other bag of springs. My specialty. There we go. All right. So I typically put, well, oh, I'll do it. Okay. Got a couple up top here. And then we'll put a couple on the bottom. Can you hand me those red, the other red and the blue? Okay. 
These can go down here. And then we can just hang those yellow ones up on any free eye hook. Okay. We had these handles left over from when uh, we set up the reformer, so those can go on any of these springs up here. Mm -hmm. And somewhere, oh, there it is. We've got the roll down bar and the sling. Okay, so Ken, I'm gonna give you the handles. Got and it. I will do this and the this sling here. So the sling actually has these really cool um, sleeves that go on the black spring. So I'm gonna slide these up here. Okay. There we go. I should have done this the other way. What's it getting caught on? There we go. Okay. And then we hook the sling on just like that. All right. Roll down bar. Handles, you want to put those on here? Okay. We got all the stuff hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it looks like we're ready to actually use this canopy like a Cadillac, except it's a reformer right now. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to switch the reformer over to the Cadillac setting. So to do that, we're gonna to have to get our other box, this is our last box out, take the mats out, and then we'll walk you through how to uh, get the reformer part out of the way so you can use the trap table. Ready? Yeah, all right. Are we filming? Yes. Oh, <laughs> all right, good, I do, I'm ready. All right. So again, we've got, a, we've got a nice sticker on here that says don't use blades because these are upholstered pads in here, okay? So just be careful when you're cutting the tape. Maybe you even peel it off like Ken was saying earlier. Right. right. All right, you wanna pull these out? I'll hold I the do. box. How about if we turn it sideways like this? Like this? Maybe I can pull it out easier. Okay, smart man, Ken. All right. So our mats, Ken, you can hold one, I'll hold the other one. Okay. This is a nice comparison here, okay? So they look the same, but they're actually not. So you'll see that the one that Ken has, it actually has feet that are not in the corner at the top, okay? So the feet are a little bit offset. You can compare it to the feet up here which are jammed right up there in the corner. Okay, so we know that this part of the um, mat conversion goes over the, the standing platform at the foot bar end of the reformer. Okay, I know my pad goes at the push-through bar side because it has these really nice flaps down here. Okay, so these flaps are turned inside for shipping. Oh, I see a lot of people who just leave them there. If you want to be in the know, you will un-Velcro them and flip them around, okay? What these flaps are for is to protect the, the upholstery on, um, on the mat from bottom sprung push-through bar exercises. So the moral of the story here is to be a flat flipper, not a flip flopper. I'm not sure I followed you, but I, I think I think that, that there's some truth to that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's put these off to the side because they aren't just going to set right on top of the reformer, right? We got to do some other stuff. You got to do some other stuff. Okay, Ready? so let's let's put them off to the side. Okay. Okay. So at Ken's end, what do you have to do over there to prepare for the mats? First thing is we gotta get these out of the way. Yes. All right. 
Okay. So we'll pop these pins. Pop the pins out. We'll push these guys down. Yes. Pop this pin. Push this guy down. Yep. This side's ready. Yes. Okay. So notice that even though the tops of those risers still stick up above the frame, they don't have to get taken out. The mats are going to fit just fine over them. Okay. Um, on my end, can you see me? It's like hide and seek with all this stuff over here. Um, on my end, I'm going to unhook the carriage. Okay. And slide it to Ken. If we shift back over to Ken, you got to do something about those shoulder rests, right? These are going to be in the way. Yeah. All right. So there's something going on here. We can just pop these boy bad boys off. Yep. Take this guy off and take this guy out of the way. Yes. And then this guy comes down here. Slides right over there. Last thing is to get the foot bar out of the way. So I'm just going to slide those slide locks inwards and flip the foot bar and the foot bar support into the frame. Okay. So I think we're ready for those mats. Right. All right. So I actually think you have mine and I have yours. So we have to flip our mats. We have to flip flop our mats. Yes. Oh goodness. I can't okay. even get that tongue twister. All right. So the wide ones go over the standing platform. You got it. Me first? You first. Okay. Lead the way. And we got these cool little handles here. Done. Done. Okay, and I'm going to put the flaps over the end of the reformer and then set these on here. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that, yep, flaps are hanging out. This is nice and flush. Now we can do a whole tower session. Right? Okay. All right. So I think that's it. Do we have anything else that we need to say? Want to show how the safety strap works? Or is uh, that a different video? That's a different video. Oh, well, yeah. stay tuned, you guys, well, for the next video. <laughs> that's a great transition yeah. because actually, <laughs> actually, uh, if you need more videos like this one, mm -hmm. where can they go? Oh, you can go to the BB Garage. Yeah. Pilates.com. Pilates.com slash BB Garage. And you'll find a whole bunch of other videos there that are super helpful about your equipment. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. <laughs>